already. Um, so I haven't told you guys yet, but popcorn escaped, and he in our heaters we have like these little holes where the heaters are put in, and he sneaked snuck snuck through one of those, and now he's in between. We think he's in between my wall and the bathroom, so he's probably inside the walls right now. I really hope he's okay. I don't know if he got to the insulation yet. I hope he didn't. It's probably really dusty in there, and like I'm really worried he's gonna get like respiratory issues or something, which he probably is. And I hope he doesn't. But pretty much, um, so he's in the walls. We think because so last night we set up a little thing. So we set up some food and some water, um, and it seemed like he ate his food. And in the bathroom, there was a poop trail of hamster poop, so we knew that he was in the bathroom, and it led to this tiny little hole in the heater so we we're guessing and it and if you were to go in there you would like it would be in between my wall and um the bathroom so now we think he's in the walls there but the only thing we're glad about is like he managed to get out so he because he was in there and then he managed to get out so if he managed to get like out then he can get out again we think he went back in there because he probably did we saw the picture all in there so we went to Tractor Supply, and we bought a um, catch-and-release trap for him. It's not harmful, so pretty much what he does is he's going to... Oh, I don't want to flip that way. So it's set right now, so I'm not going to demonstrate, and I hate setting it because setting it like, it makes a really loud noise, so I'll wake up when he goes in it. So let me check. It is set. So anyways, pretty much what happens is he's going to, because well, I have food set up on the other side, treats and all kind of stuff. So what he's going to do is he's going to smell the food. He's going to go in here, walk up to the blanket. So then he's going to step on that panel right there. So to get to the food, he has to step on that panel. So he's going to go over the panel. And once he goes on the panel, it's going to... Um, it's pretty much what it's going to do is it's going to set the trap. So pretty much once he steps on the panel, this is going to close and that's going to go down. See, it's up right now. Um, so when he steps on it, this is going to close so that he can't get out of here. And then it's not going to hurt him or anything. He's just going to like, this is just going to close. It's going to make a loud noise and this is going to be down. Then he's going to still manage to get the food. He's not going to like get blocked off from the food or something. He's still going to get the food. Um... And then, yeah, it's going to make a loud noise, and I'm going to wake up, and I'm going to see my child hopefully in here. I hope he's not dead, but I, I just hope that. But, yeah, we'll see. So, yeah, wish me luck. Uh, sorry for the lack of posting. It's been, like, a lot with this. So, he's been gone for, I think it's around two or one or two days now. So, yeah. Oh, not so. I got two teeth pulled at the dentist. That one and that one. Yeah. Um, so yeah. See you guys in the next video. And wish me luck with popcorn. Bye.